let's be brutally honest, the real estate market has not been fun for most agents this year. And statistically, in the last eight months, over 70,000 agents have left the industry. 70,000. And that's not even considering half of the agents that are sitting in our offices actively holding a license and yet have yet to close their first deal in 2023. Now, this is nothing new. The real estate market is cyclical and we can never be in a constant up in the terms of the market. There will always be ups and there will always be downs. And naturally, we have to shift with the shifting market. Now, if you're watching this video, I'm going to assume you're struggling a little bit, as is most agents in this industry. So today, I'm going to share with you some inside thoughts on how we can survive the real estate market shift, how you can thrive, and how when the market does ultimately make a turn, you are going to be at the forefront of success compared to every other agent in your office. Now this one's going to sound cliche and I'm going to jump to it first before we go into some actual legitimate things that you can do, but this is all mentality. It's all in here. And a lot of agents, I think, make the mistake of coming into this industry, hoping that they're going to make a big win, make some big money, and then live this lavish, work-free life when that is not the reality of our business. This is a long-term game. You're in it for the long haul. And you need to come in here with that survivor's mentality that you're going to stick it through, that you're going to do absolutely everything that is necessary to ensure that you walk out that door at the end of it all with success. It comes down to one very simple question. Are you committed or are you interested? Because if you are committed to this business and making it work, you will make the sacrifices needed to get through. First thing that you can do in this time is you need to buckle down on your marketing and digital branding. This is the time. Now you guys know I coach about this on the side and one of the biggest complaints I always hear from agents is, I don't have the time. I don't have the time to do social media. I don't have the time to do this, this, and that. And now is the time because it's in times like this when we're less busy, we have less transactions on our desk, that you need to be dedicating to your business, marketing and presence. Social media, I know people have been talking about it for years, but this is the day and age of how marketing is done. This is how people build a reputation digitally and you need to be funneling in a lot of energy towards doing this. Second thing, you need to be smart with your money. And we're always told this, be smart with your money, obviously, always, but especially now. You need to be pulling back on your expenses. You need to have a nest egg saved, emergency fund. Don't go and blow your money on expensive, unnecessary purchases. And that's one of the easiest mistakes that people make is they get this big check. Let's say you get a $30,000 check. People are going to want to blow half of it on unnecessary things and never, ever, ever forget that you have taxes to pay for and you need to be saving for those in the future. You don't want to get yourself in a position where you've run out of money. Next, you need to be hunkering down and calling your SOI, your sphere of influence. And we're told this 24 seven in the industry, and I'm sure you've heard it and I'm sure you know it deep down inside, but this is the one of the biggest factors that people are not recognizing. When we had the pandemic market and historically low rates, we were pulling buyers and sellers from the future, from 2025, from 2026, from 2027. Buyers that weren't planning to buy yet, but the deal that was available was too good to be true. So we're pulling people from the future. Now, as of today, when I'm filming this video, rates are over 7%. That's more than double what most people have in their pre-existing mortgage. So it's a lot to ask someone to sell their house when they have a historical low rate they'll never have their hands on again, to go buy something for more than double what they have currently. People right now are not moving unless they have to, unless they have a life change circumstance, promotion, family got bigger, divorce, had another kid, 
whatever it might be, people are moving because they have to. And by connecting with your SOI, by calling them and staying in touch with them, you're going to know exactly when these changes are happening. You need to be prospecting your life away. And I know people hate the word prospecting. People hate prospecting in general, but the reality is we don't work in a real estate industry. Realistically, we work in a lead generation business. And we need to be on top of having this active conversations. Now people are gonna say, well, nobody wants to buy or sell right now. Inventory is so low. What am I supposed to do when I'm prospecting? I don't care. The number one thing that you need to be doing is being face forward with potential people talking about real estate, door knocking, open houses, networking events, you need to make sure that you are having conversations every single day with someone new about real estate, that people can affiliate you towards this business, that you are successful and that you know what you're doing in this business. People might not want to make a move now, but when the tide turns and you're there, you're going to be the first person to call. Let me tell you this. It takes a buyer or a seller between 18 to 24 months to decide if they're going to officially make a move. Once they do, they end up picking their real estate agent as their representation within three to five days. That is such a tiny window for such a long time of decision-making. So get out there, have those real-time conversations, do not shy away and focus on building those relationships for the future. We are laying out our foundation right now. We're building our foundation so that we can survive in the future. What you do today is the result that you will receive three to six months from now. That's just how real estate works. You meet someone today, you don't close with them until probably next year, six months from now. That's just how this business works. This is the time to be differentiating yourself, really building into your brand and focusing also on education. You have to realize that media and the national news of what's happening in the real estate market is almost never applicable to our hyper local real estate market. You ultimately want to become that go-to person that people are going to for information on their community, for information on their local real estate market, for information on things to do and activities and the lifestyle in your neighborhood. You want to be that go-to person and staying educated on top of everything that's happening in the market, statistics, what house is selling down the street, list price versus sold price. All of these things you need to know so that you become an expert. People trust people that know what they're doing. We trust experts. Fake it till you make it if you have to, but become educated. Your knowledge, your expertise is at the end of the day, the only value, true value you can bring and provide for your clients. 70,000 agents leaving the business is a big number. That is a lot of agents and it's continuing to grow. I mean, on average, it's about 10,000 a month of agents that are permanently, legitimately stepping foot outside of the business, closing their accounts. And that doesn't even account for everyone that's still trying to make it or stick around to see what happens. You will be fine. You will succeed as long as you're strong mentally, you believe in yourself and you do the hard work now that needs to be done to get you to the finish line. And let's just be honest. If you're watching this video, you're already 10 steps ahead of everyone else in this business because you're at least trying to educate yourself on how to get that next step forward. Everything will work out. I believe in you. Comment down below. Let's form a community of agents. How are you feeling in this business? How are you feeling in the market right now? And let's support one another. Have an amazing day, guys, and I will see you in my next video.